<laughs> and there's a single SCV trying to take out that new command center. <laughs> oh. oh, a big battle here in the middle. Uh, Unseized tanks versus seized tanks. I guess we know who wins in that battle. Fantasy is slowly taking this battle in the middle. Boston picking up his army, though. Now Fantasy is filling his dropships back up here. He's going to try to drop on this uh, expansion right here. Being fended off by a turret, but doesn't really matter too much. Oh, uh, SCVs might be able to take out all these tanks. I think all the SCVs are going to be able to take out all these tanks. So Fantasy being fended off a little bit. A little bit of economic harassment, though, done to... Watson in that command center is a little bit on fire there. Hero SCV. Now it looks like Fantasy is moving out. He's, uh, he has a quite a few idle SCVs here. It's kind of interesting. Usually when the pressure gets on, I've noticed that Fantasy has some idle units out. He has an awful lot of SCVs on gas at that island expansion too. A little bit too much, I think. So I don't think Fantasy's macro is completely up to um, the same level as somebody like Wasson's. But Fantasy is going to be able to take out this uh, command center from Wasson. There's nothing that Wasson can do to defend that. Let's see, the, this is Wasson's first person perspective here. Looks like he's going in with his drop ships. He's going to try to get another good drop here at an expansion. Uh, he's dropping on the ledge here, so this might hurt Fantasy a lot if Fantasy can't uh, get the vision up there and be able to see what's going on. So he is trying to put up some more turrets all over the place just to stop these dropships from harassing him. He scanned up there, so he's going to be able to move up and try to take out those uh, troops on the ledge. Boston so far is doing a good job. I mean, he has been pushed pretty hard by Fantasy, especially with those rays in the beginning. But he's fighting on back pretty well. This is going to be about who can take out whose tank army, I think, at this point. See, there are five drop ships, six drop ships out for Fantasy, filled with units. So now he's going in with these drop ships. And Hwasin, uh most of his troops are on the ground, and Fantasy, it looks like, is fighting back. He's clawing his way back, especially with this large group that's going to be in this uh, these drop ships. He's dropping uh, his tanks off there. Going to try to take out uh, Wasson's tanks. So Wasson's tanks going down. Wasson, uh, his army is being d just whittled away here by Fantasy. And uh, Fantasy is moving in now with a gigantic tank force. So I think he pretty much has this game unless he loses his tanks to something stupid. <laughs> like a mine or something. Now Fantasy is uh, still hovering around with those drop ships. Yeah, he has plenty of expansions up, so I think... Look at all those idle SCVs from Fantasy. Yeah, Fantasy's uh, late game macro is not the best in the world, but he's still a good player, especially in TBT. He has uh, great game sense and great micro. Oh, I think he just has to work on his macro a little bit. There's Wasson going to try to fight with these SCVs, but this SCV is going to be demolished. And looks like Wasson is out of this game. I think SKT T1 is going to take it. Fantasy is uh, <laughs> he's going to move his tanks in to th one of those expansions soon enough, and he's filling up more dropships. He just has a gigantic army right now. Here comes Fantasy, and Hwasin is <laughs> being demolished there. He's trying to build a turret there, but that turret's going to be destroyed. Hwasin dropping some uh, troops off in the middle. He manages to siege a little bit before Fantasy, but he just doesn't have enough. See, he doesn't have enough tanks to deal with this gigantic tank fleet. And I think we're going to see GG very shortly because all these tanks seem to be taken down. Fantasy actually getting a pincer attack here. It's very interesting. You usually don't see those in TBT. All of the tanks from Hwasin going down. So Fantasy is on top of this game. 
He's probably going to load up his dropships again and do another drop very shortly. Boston just can't keep up the production, especially with the amount of harassment he's taken so far. There's the mascot looking very excited and very marshmallowy, as he usually does. And a lot of drop ships out for both players, so. Yeah, eh, I was going to say Hwasin might have a chance, but I don't think he has a chance in this game. Fantasy has uh, brilliant micro and TVT. So, we're going to see another expansion from Hwasin go down very shortly. And here goes this expansion. It's going to go down within seconds because of the amount of siege tanks there. Fantasy still pumping from a lot of factories. Fantasy uh, actually intercepting the shuttles with Goliath. Such good game sense from him. Looks like Washington, this is his last ditch effort here to try to take on the main. Fantasy uh, flying his shuttles over, that was kind of weird. Lost a lot of uh, dropships there, I mean. And here's the GG from Hwasin. Looks like SKT T1 takes it. Fantasy able to be the ace <laughs> that SKT T1 needed. So, this has been Nuke. Um, I will be moving on to CJ Entis versus Samsung Cone tomorrow. I am really, really looking forward to that those series of matches. See you then.